Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, Hitmonkey and Daredevil Hell's Kitchen Arena is over, and we're going to take a look at the leaderboards and see how we did, how our friends did, see if we see any names that we recognize. I'm kind of tired, so I apologize in advance if I miss someone's name because I just completed Variant 6. Did my initial run. I recorded all of it and I will be making videos that I will release later on during this week. So look forward to those videos. Don't know if YouTube is gonna notify you guys or not. All right, so let's go ahead over into the arena. I didn't go for either of these champions. I already have them. All right, and let's see. Four star hit monkey. It might be too early, but let's go ahead and look at the leaderboard. Um, I only put up enough for milestones. Uh, Black Devil, congratulations, up there at number one. And uh, let's just keep going down here. Uh, I don't, I think I, did I grab everything? I may have already grabbed all of the rewards. I can't remember. Um, I think I, I must have. Like I said, I'm tired, so don't, don't mind me. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, only saw one name so far that I recognize. Now, Hitmonkey is actually a really good champion. Um, he does a lot of damage. I actually like him. I have him as a five-star as well, and I would love to take him up. He is pretty good. Gray Wolf, congratulations. All right. Let's see. What else? Who else we got? I think people who don't have him as a four star would not mind getting him to play around with him because he is that good. A four star, he puts out a lot of damage. All right. But I haven't had a lot of time to play around with him a whole lot. So the only thing I know is medium light medium guaranteed crits. Uh, I know you don't want to knock him down if you're fighting against him. Because he gets all kinds of crazy buffs and will come and wreck you. But other than that, I don't know too much about him. Might be time for me to uh, start doing some research on these champions once again. Black Gamer, congratulations on your four-star hit monkey. Alright. And I think I'm going to start my return with Black Widow Clairvoyant. Uh, a lot of people saw me using her in the uh, John Mulaney's challenge. And I know some wanted to see me do a, a video on her so they could learn a little bit more about her. All right, uh, let's go ahead and look at uh, Daredevil's Hell's Kitchen four star featured. Black Gamer there again, congratulations. All right, let's see. And I do see some names that I saw on the other leaderboard. Um, Black Devil, there you go. Congratulations. Uh, let's see. I don't know. it. He's an old champion, but he just got a rework. So I would suspect that anyone, the integral, congratulations, man that anyone that does not have him, that just wants to, you know, play around with him, would go for the uh, four-star. He is worth going for. So if you did not go for him round one, I would say go for him round two. He's actually a pretty decent uh, champion now. And uh, still got to learn his animations. He still catches me. He's got a seven-hit special. I had to count them. And if I'm not paying attention, he'll get me with that last hit. I'll think he's done. And then he'll come and do that overhand punch. Not cool. Not cool. Um, but yeah, seven hit special takes up most of the screen. So yeah, he's he can be quite annoying uh, to fight against. All right. 
see. I don't see anyone else. Now, of course, in this arena, the uh, top 800 get the champion. So we're only going to see the first 200. And so there's quite a few, 600, that have gotten the champion that we're not seeing here. So if you are one of those, feel free to leave a comment. In fact, even if you got the champion, leave a comment. Let people know what your uh, scores are, what you're putting up. Um, it helps them, especially in round one, uh, if they're planning on going for the champion in round two. All right. This is the five-star. And that's the score that I put up for the five-star shards. And you saw that I got them. I've heard of people missing with as high as 21 million. So far, 22 million or more has gotten me the five-star shards every time. Sometimes I'll put up a little bit more, like you see, 22.5. Uh, if I'm bored, I might even put up 23. Uh, if I think the champion is really, really hyped, I might go for 23 uh, million just to make sure, you know. But anywhere between 20 and 25 is relatively safe, but it depends on the champion. I always recommend if you want to get the five star shards, put up at least 22 million. Uh, so far, um, I think there was once that I did put up less than 22 million. Uh, Black Devil, congratulations, man. Um, I think I put up less than uh, 22 million, but I still got it. It was something like 21 and some change. I just didn't feel like doing any more arena that time. I think I had just finished grinding a lot. Ben Riley, congratulations. Rank 51. Nice, nice. All right. I'm curious to see who all didn't have him because he's not a new champion. Darkwing Duck. Let's get dangerous. I don't know him, but I had to do it. He gave himself the name, Darkwing Duck. Brought back memories. Uh, the Integral. Congratulations, man. You killing it. You wanted to get both of these guys. I feel you. All right. And if I missed anybody, please forgive me. Like I said, I'm kind of tired right now. Just finished doing that variant was having dropped inputs, laggy um, server. It, it it was fun, but when those things happen, I got real frustrated. Uh, Black Gamer, congratulations. But overall, it was definitely fun. I'll be exploring it sometime later on. Not sure when I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna do it. Maybe I'll, I'll try to knock it out uh, later on today, I don't know. Uh, did not use any units. So uh, I might just slow play it as well. Instead of uh, using up all of my energy refills. Okay. And uh, all these guys we're seeing here got the champion. And uh, at one point in time, it was only the top 150. So all of these people would have missed, but Kabam made the change. It is now 300. So everyone that you see here got the champion. All right. So that is going to do it, guys. If you got the champion and you are close to the cutoff, especially let us know the score you put up because that will help people who are going for the champion next round. Uh, I'm not, I already have him, and he's awakened. I forget what SIG he is, because I've pulled him a couple of times. Um, but for those who are going for the champion round two, it's really, really helpful to them. All right, so take care. Click like if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Don't forget, during this week, I will be putting out videos for Variant. All right, Variant 6. So take care. If you haven't given me a subscription, give me a subscription, and in fact, even if you've subscribed and you have the little bell notification on, check it again because I have been unsubscribed to people before. And I've also had my notifications change back to the default. So make sure you hit that and make sure it's set to all so you'll get all the notifications when YouTube decides to send them out. 
All right, so take care, and you all have a blessed day.